Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a linear regression, guys. So basically, whenever you start learning about machine learning, I think this is the basic algorithm which any faculty or anyone will teach, guys. Because using this algorithm or using this regression method, you can predict the future values, guys. So basically, you will be given some input data, okay, and they will give only up to some point and they will ask you to predict the data for the next few years or few months or few things okay so this concept of predicting future values using the concept of machine learning using the given input which is a supervised learning input so we call it as a linear regression okay guys will be taking an example in the next lecture guys so don't worry about it okay yes so linear regression is a machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning because you are giving the input you are giving the series of series of input okay yes it performs the regression task so basically prediction in simple words you can say okay so in linear regression the performs the task to predict dependent variable y based on a given independent value x so basically i hope everyone knows the equation y is equals to mx plus c right yes so where m is some slope and c is some constant and x is our input and y is our output so basically with the help of this x value you can predict y value right if you know the slope and constant yes so this is the exact concept which is used in linear regression guys okay so that the regress technique finds out a linear relation between x input and y output hence the name is called as a linear regression got it yes so dependent variable is continuous in nature okay so it will be increasing in nature in simple words you can say or it will have some relation like if we take years so every year you are calculating your company's turnover so in 2012 you got that much in 2013 you got this much so what is the expected value in 2015 14 16 like that you are going to predict it so that concept comes under the linear regression okay yes so this is the linear regression line you can say for this we'll be calculating the slope and solving it okay there is there are multiple tricks also guys we'll be discussing in the next lecture a problem in you can solve it really easily guys there are some two formulas you can say using those formulas you can blindly put the values and get the answers guys that's it okay it's that much simple okay yes so linearly indirect means as the name as the value of x increases value of y also increases so linearly increasing means okay yes so based on the number of independent variables the regression is divided into two types so basically if the number of inputs are two only then it is called a simple linear because using one you are going to predict the other but if you are having multiple in that situation it is called as multi-linear guys because we are having multiple values of x1 x2 x3 like that we are having only one okay yes so these are some basic terminology you can say where m is the slope and c is the Inter intercept or you can say as constant and y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable alpha i is nothing but the regression coefficient okay yes okay so let us take a small example guys okay so assume that you got an equation in this way after solving the whole regression you got this equation and by substituting these values these x1 x2 x3 and x4 given in the question you can find the value of y okay so based on these values so your first question will be okay then why did i round up this 4x3 so basically by observing it can you say which parameter is really important guys x3 right because the value of x3 if it increases the y value will also increase a lot because it is into 4 right yes so this is the most relevant value which you need to take care of because if you randomly change it that will lead to an issue right yes so regression coefficients are collected at a training basis on the data data set based on the impact and independent variable okay okay so hence if a variable coefficient is high we can directly say that that changes its value impact drastically so whenever you change that value the result will also change a lot okay so hence among all these four is the highest coefficient at x3 okay yes so once we are going through a problem you'll be getting a clear idea guys like why i am saying this so let us take an example here itself guys. so assume that you are collecting the values okay okay so assume that this is some rupees calculation guys so assume that x4 indicates a thousand sir okay so this indicates a hundred sir okay so this indicates a ten sir and this indicates a one sir right yes so basically here x3 so coefficient is four right yes so if i change this thousand thousand or hundred to ten thousand it will also increase right so it will also the y value will also increase a lot so this is a concept of increasing a lot hence this value should be taken carefully okay yes so that 
I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be taking an example on this particular linear regression, guys. We'll try to predict some values and we will even identify, are we getting any error? Also, we'll be checking, guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with a problem, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.